Another area which I could probably do a little more to clear up is the uh, is when it comes to magnetomotive force. This is the strength of magnetic field around a solenoid or an electromagnet. If I had a coil, and I'll uh, I'll show that coil by running my turns of wire over the top, hidden line in the back, over the top, hidden line, like this. And then I put establish a polarity. In other words, I'm going to put a direct current on this coil, this electromagnet solenoid, if you will. I know that from my modern theory of basic electricity that my current flows from negative to positive. So in this case, I used the left-hand rule, and, uh, and I've got my current flowing over the top like this, you see. And of course, if I use the left-hand rule for the coil, I know then that over here would be my south pole, and this would be, or this would be my north pole, this would be my south pole. Some points in the direction of the north pole. Now, that tells you then what direction the magnetic flux would be in. Inside the, the magnet, it's going to be going from south to north. On the outside, it will go from north to south and then on back again like this. In other words, this would be the direction of my flux in the field around that particular electromagnet. Now, the strength of a magnetic field is determined by the amp turns. In other words, my magnetomotive force, so the strength of that magnetic field, is measured in amp turns, which means if I had 100 amps, you see, if I had 100 amps and 10 turns, I would have 1,000 amp turns for the strength of my, what we call, MMF. Some other information that probably wasn't brought out was that Magnets can take on the form of uh, natural magnets or artificial magnets. This would be an example of an artificial magnet. A natural magnet is a lodestone. It's, in nature, it has its magnetism. A temporary magnet is one that doesn't hold its magnetism for, for a very long period. In other words, a short period of time, it'll hold magnetism. A permanent magnet is one that holds magnetism for a, an extended or a long period of time. Uh, permanent magnets is made out of a hard material such as cobalt, nickel, ferrous materials and so on. And it will hold the molecules or the magnetic domains will hold their positions for long periods of time. But you remember that they can be destroyed through one of the three methods that we gave you. In other words, by striking, heating, or using a alternating current, you see, and a coil wrapped around it. They will non-align themselves.